Mm-hmm. I'm, we're spinning here. I think weaving is in another. Yeah, Weavings? I think you have her in the green. She's got the sample in here. It's like getting the knots out of a little girl's hair at, <laughs> at the beach. <laughs> this helps get the. Uh, some of the vegetable matter out and any dirt and it helps to line the fibers up in an even direction for spinning. Very ever so easily. Wow. And then I get it all over to one side. This isn't the rec this isn't this is kind of my own way of doing it with this particular fiber because some fibers are easier, some are harder. This one particularly has a lot of lanolin in it, which makes it a little more stickier. Um, traditionally, you would go back and forth from one card to the other a couple, two, three times, but I'm doing it very minimally because it's difficult for this because it's so sticky. I'm going to draft it out a little bit. And this is called a row leg. And I've kind of drafted it out into a, um, a piece of roving of sort. And now I'm going to connect the two. It kind of grabs a hold. And now Right here I am drafting the fibers out and the twist comes up to where my fingers are. So I draft up the fibers and move my finger and it incorporates the twist into the fiber and gives it strength. This is very weak, but where it has twist, it's very strong. You could do this by hand, but it would take a whole lot more time and a lot more effort and this wheel takes a lot of that time out. You do a, a lot of fiber a lot quicker. It goes into the orifice. It comes here through the orifice hook and it wraps onto the bobbin. When it gets full on the one side, I move, move it over to let it load onto the bobbin in another spot. And the process just continues and continues. This wheel is over 140 years old. 140 years old? It's over 140 years old. It's a, it's, a, it's a Canadian production wheel, and it was made by the Oulet family, O-U-E-L-E-T-T, in 1879. So how much more, how many spools can you make in a day if you went at this? Well, um, making a very small diameter thread, uh, obviously you could fit a whole lot more onto a bobbin. If you made a thicker uh, diameter thread, you would have um, a lot less yardage. I could get several hundred yards, um, just a couple hundred yards. So depending on the type of fiber and how uh, thick the diameter, a thin weight. This is called the weight. This is like a lace weight. This would be like a, a double knit or a um, worsted weight. And the and the style of how you draft the yarn would be either a, a worsted or a woolen. A fluffy type of draw would make a woolen more insulated sweater. A uh, worsted weight would make a, a, a more slick, uh, compact yarn 
which would be better ideal for doing pattern work, like Aaron sweaters, and it would Socks. show pattern well. Or, or what? Socks. Socks for strength. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much.